Hello everyone. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about loneliness. Now loneliness is something that we don't tend to talk about very much, but don't let that make you think that that's not because most people don't experience it, because we do. Nearly everyone, if not everyone, has at some point in their life experienced a feeling of loneliness. When we're talking about loneliness, we aren't talking about being alone. Loneliness is a feeling you get when you're feeling that you aren't seen, understood, or accepted. It's a feeling of disconnection, either from yourself or from other people. So the first thing I'd like to say to you is, loneliness is very common. It is something that everyone experiences at some point in their life. If you are feeling lonely, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It doesn't mean that you aren't doing something right or that other people are living their lives better than you are. I promise you, when you walk through the world, everyone you see has experienced loneliness at some point. The second thing I'd like to say to you is how you manage that feeling of loneliness. I would encourage you not to ignore that feeling, not to push it away, not to distract yourself away from it, not to pretend that it isn't happening. Loneliness is something that can act like a small alarm bell, letting you know that there's something going on for you that isn't quite working. It isn't quite how you want your life to be. So rather than pushing away the feeling of loneliness, take a look at it. Be curious about it. Use your mindfulness skills to pay attention to that emotion and try to get to know it. That emotion will tell you an awful lot about yourself and what it is that you want and need in your life. The third thing I want to say to you is that there is something you can do about the feeling of loneliness. Once you've taken a look at the feeling and started to understand it, you can think for yourself what actions will make that feeling of loneliness a little bit easier to bear or a little bit less frequently occurring. Some of these things are quite practical. I would suggest to you first that you keep a schedule, that you stay active, that you do the normal things that allow you to feel like your life has purpose and meaning. The other things that you can do are more about connecting with other people. If the people in your life, or the lack of people in your life, is causing you a feeling of loneliness, seek out new connections. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your current friends and family, but it just means they aren't serving that particular need for you. Even in this state of pandemic and lockdown, we can still make connections with people. Look online, seek out groups that have similar interests to you or similar personality types where you can go and feel understood and accepted. The last thing I would say about doing about loneliness is how you take care of yourself. I would recommend to you that you try something creative. And the reason I say that is because making something creative doing something creative can allow us to know ourselves better, to connect with ourselves, who we really are. That feeling of connection with ourselves can help us with that feeling of loneliness just as much, if not more, than connecting with other people. Finally, creativity, putting meaning in your life, and also being kind to yourself. Showing yourself compassion and comfort when you need it is so important. If you find yourself feeling lonely, seek out the, the things that you do, the activities, even the objects that you take comfort from, and allow yourself to indulge in them, whatever they might be. So, if you feel lonely, when you feel lonely, don't ignore it. Examine that feeling with curiosity. Examine it with the understanding that it is just human nature to sometimes feel disconnected from others. And finally, seek out connection with others or with yourself. I'll speak to you again soon, but in the meantime, please take very, very good care of yourself.